Okay, this is going to be the renovation of a Lionel crane car, a 6560 crane car that was manufactured in uh, 1955. So it's been lovingly kept by one owner for all these years. Uh, the cord for the pulley assembly uh, obviously f failed, probably at the hands of Little Munchkins back in the 50s and uh, was secured by a pipe cleaner. So that we should know that the father of the house smoked a pipe. Okay, well, we're going to replace the pipe cleaner with some little cord that you can get at any hobby shop, uh, wherever they have uh, self-made jewelry like necklaces and th pendants and things like that. It's very simple. This is hemp cord. It's very thin, but it'll do the trick. And as long as the pulley is uh, nice and loose, it'll do just fine. The assembly of this unit is, is rather simple. There's a fast nut. I took the liberty of, for the sake of videoing this, of just bending one corner of the fast clip with the flat blade screwdriver so that the fast clip comes off. I'll bend that back when we put everything back together again. And then it's a rather simple thing. The cab lifts off. Uh, you still have uh, this tension. I guess it's a washer, whatever you'd call it, but it, it, it's, it's needed there to uh, make things pivot well. Then Underneath here, it's it's rather simple. We, we've got two controls. One is vertical, and one is for the pulley assembly here. But without the, the cord, that's not going to work. I cleaned this up a little bit so far, but it needs to have a good shave and haircut with some vinegar and baking soda to clean it up very, very nicely. We'll put that aside for a second. Under here, it's rather simple to get this thing apart. Uh, this bends out nicely and then this will bend out here for those two clips. There's a clip here and a clip here and then a third clip back here. Once these two are freed then you can pull it forward and get the uh, the cab assembly plate out and that exposes the mechanism. So you have um, the, the elevating screw right here and then the pulley screw right here. You can see what the remnants of what had once been the uh, the cord on here. We will replace that entirely. And then uh, everything should be just fine. Uh, it, it's all it's pretty dirty in here. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to go off camera and clean this up a bit, and then we'll come back. I have to take this off entirely in order to. Uh, get at it. Let's see if it'll let me unscrew entirely without damaging it. Where am I at? At the end point here. Well, let's get this apart entirely. Here we go. Just unscrew that. And then it needs a the proper angle to do that. And then we can clean the whole thing with it. There we are. Now we're going to clean the whole thing, and then once it's clean, then we'll put it back together and put a new a, a, uh, pulley cord on top, and the thing should work just perfectly. See okay, you in a bit. we've done a pretty good job of cleaning things up. Uh, vinegar and baking soda do a great job without endangering any of the uh, decal work that's or the paint that's on these old plastic moldings. So here's what's going to happen next. This looks fine. We're not going to do very much. I'm going to clean up the wheels a little bit at the very end and lubricate them so that they roll very nicely. But this cleaned up nicely. The cab cleaned up great. And uh, we have to wait till the end to put on the uh, elevating wheel. Uh, what we have to do now is take a look here uh, at the hand wheel that uh, raises and lowers the pulley. You can see that there's a hole in the in the spindle 
where the old cord was tied through. I've cut a length of hemp cord about the same diameter. It might be a little bit thicker, but not substantially so. That is twice the length of the entire uh, crane so that it will not only go up, but it will also have the ability to raise and lower the, um, the, the pulley without a pipe cleaner on it. And then we'll move on from there. Okay, so I'm going to take off this and put on the, the new cord, and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, we now have everything threaded through, and uh, we're ready to put the crane back together. Here's how we did it. We, t we started here at the very top and, th and pushed cord through because this is the most difficult spot to thread. Then we doubled. We Notice how we have the hook facing towards the car, not outwards. It's facing inwards. And uh, then came looped around through the pulley up into the... Uh, the the pulley pivot up here and then down through this part of the crane and then it goes above here where you have the uh, the twin pulley assembly here uh, attached then it goes straight on down goes down through here and underneath this bar and then up into the stem. Now, let me make this uh, more apparent for you. Let's unwind this. Get the cord up and unwind it for you so you can see how everything is attached. None of this stuff turns terribly easily. So I'll we'll have to grease the skids a little bit to make all that happen. But I wanted to show you where everything comes out. You can see as I'm unwinding this, I left on purpose a bit of cord so you can make it, get a good idea of, of how everything works. There is a hole in the stem for the wheel. And what you do is you put the cord through that hole, tie a nice little square, very tight square knot. And once that's done, then this can come off. Make sure that the knot is absolutely snug and tight because you're not going to leave a whole lot of uh, room for things pulling away. So that's a nice tight square knot. And then now all you do is is turn this and it winds up nicely. Okay, as long as everything is lined up on the pulley, everything will work. So let's put this back together and see how everything functions. All right? Okay, so let's put it all back together again. Here we have the cab with the, the long uh, elevating screw assembly. And what we're doing is we're going to screw that into this little bracket there. And once that's on, then we're in good shape to put all the rest together. So all we do is, it's a little bit, trying to get it on the right plane so that it actually screws is the challenge here. There it goes, it's biting. Okay. As long as that, you can see right in here, as long as that's biting in there, then we are in good shape. Okay, now, with, with that's, that's in place, now we can move everything else in place. Let's get this little flange in there. If that's in place there, and everything else should work just fine. Just bend these out, snap them into their positions. Beautiful. Alrighty, the pulley is assembled. Now all we have to do 
is put this back onto the platform. And then there is the, uh, the tension washer. We'll put this on top like that. I'm going to take this fast nut. You can see that I've bent the edge up. That edge has to go back down. So let's get a pair of pliers to accomplish that objective and just move this down so that it will behave like a fast nut when we put it onto the stem. Close that up a little bit more. And what we're going to do is just push it down the stem and then let it bite. Okay, so here we are. We're at the tail end of our journey. Here goes the fast nut right down there. And that's all. That's why they call it a fast nut. We're done. So now, what we should have here is a perfectly functioning crane car. Okay, now that it's, it's all threaded in place, all we do is turn this knob, turn the, the elevating wheel, and up comes the crane. That works, and the crane pivots in any direction. Now, turn this wheel, and you can see up comes the pulley. So, now we have a fully restored crank car and no more need for the pipe cleaner. Hope you enjoyed it.